Rubbing shoulders with the big boys at Tokyo 2020 will be Mauritius's very own Georges Julien Paul. Earning his ticket through the Continental Representation Place, it's been a long but fulfilling journey for the world number 84. So it means really a lot for me because it's a journey that started since young and it was a dream come like going for Olympics and I worked for it since the past four years. I stopped my studies to play fully badminton. I moved to Malaysia slash India like for two and a half years to like reach a certain level. And now like I'm reaching my goal. So it's really great feelings and I'm really happy to, I'm looking forward for the games. And yeah, it's just a huge experience for me to represent Africa in this big international scene. I think it was my brother. He, he was also a national player, but he had this dream of Olympics, which he couldn't make it because of injury. I follow his path and maybe his dream came to me and I am happy that I can like, reach this Olympics for both of us. And he has always been behind me, like my family of course, but he's the one, like he knows badminton and he knows what I've been through. And yeah, he's the one like, I would really thank, thank him. The choice to move to Denmark uh, now is maybe like safety first, but also I know there is a lot of good players training there. Felix from Sweden, Lino from Mexico, and I tried two weeks last year before the lockdown, and I know like the training is really intense and quality. The players are there for a reason, so they're all really focused and training 100%. That's why I chose to move in Denmark for like the last preparation and I hope that I will get my level like it was before lockdown. I encourage African countries to, to find solutions for training because it's the only thing that makes us reach another step in badminton. So the main thing for me is uh, sparing and training.